Half a century ago, on the first Saturday in May, a chestnut colt with a blue and white checkerboard blinker hood won the 99th Kentucky Derby. His margin was two and a half lengths, driving. His time was the fastest in Derby history, and still is. His name was Secretariat. And they're up. Two weeks later, he broke poorly in the Preakness. Secretariat is last. But then, as if angry at himself, circled the field in the first turn, a move so rare that to this day it looks like an illusion. He won again by two and a half lengths. Almost dismissively, his time would be certified years later as the fastest in Preakness history, and still is. In the Belmont Stakes, he would try to become racing's first Triple Crown winner in 25 years. In a much deeper way, he would avert a wrought nation's gaze away from the Watergate scandal and the embers of Vietnam and toward a racetrack in New York. Secretariat ran with the gods that day, winning by 31 lengths in a record time of two minutes, 24 seconds. remains the greatest performance in racing history. He ran six more times, winning four, and then never ran again, retired at age three. But a most remarkable thing happened. In the 50 years since that ethereal spring of 1973, Secretariat became bigger. There was a book by Bill Knack, documentaries, and a major motion picture. Generation upon generation discovered Big Red. They learned about the serendipitous coin flip that awarded an unborn foal to Meadow Stable, about the giant heart, nearly twice the size of most racehorses, and about the generation of little girls inspired by Penny Chenery to grow up empowered in the Title IX era. Chick Anderson's stunning race call became a cultural touchstone. Like a Bob Colonies's simple black and white home stretch photo, a museum piece, a still life of perfection. And something more. Great athletes make our impossible real. Great horses evoke compassion and love, an appreciation of that which they give of themselves. Secretariat was and still is, both, an otherworldly creature who ran like a storm and touched something in our souls. He touches it still. Three white socks in the loam, a red mane flying on the wind, a memory that runs forever.